Hi guys, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be looking at this DJI Air unit. We've got an issue with one of the MMCX connections in the back of it. So we're going to be opening this up and seeing if we can actually repair it. So a little bit of background guys, I, I got this and this, it was in my, my original Apex build. I had to take it out because I I think I sort of, well, I flew it straight into a tree really. The drone kept on flying, but when I brought it back in, one of the actual antennas was broken off and I thought it was just the actual antenna was out. But when I looked closely, what I had was part of the actual connection was, was still inside here. So part of the connection still broke off in here. I've managed to get it out, but it's actually made the connection too, too fat now really, so it can't be used. But what I did first of all, because I actually commented on this on one of my videos and a subscriber got in touch saying, why don't I actually send it off to DJI? So that is exactly what I did. I contacted DJI. I said, look, I've got this um, problem with my air unit. It's just a connection. Would you be able to fix it for me? They kindly just got straight back. They said, yes, no problem. They sorted out the postage for me and everything. I believe their actual um, repair service place is actually in Netherlands. They paid for the postage, got it to Netherlands. I got a couple of emails back from their customer service saying that the actual air unit, even though I've had it less than a year, its warranty was out of date. And they then presented me with a bill for over 160 pounds or about 160 pounds, which basically I could get a new one of these for anyway. So I was a little bit outraged. I'll flash up the actual price of what they sent me as well here. So hopefully it's here somewhere. So as you can imagine, I was not best happy. So I, I just, they listed a whole bunch of things as well that I didn't want fixed, which I wasn't impressed with. So I did get back to them. I said, look, I just need, I just need this connection fixed. And they got back, I think the, they got back with a better price, but I think it was still over hundred pounds. I'll also flash that price up and still not impressed so basically 40 quid more i could get a new unit anyway so very disgruntled i got dji to just send this back to me without a fix so i got this back i've already opened this up once i actually got it back i opened it up and there's a ribbon cable in here which we will see shortly and basically they hadn't even bothered to actually reconnect the ribbon cable i mean how slack is that DJI, I am not impressed at all. So basically, I could have flown this because I got the bit out, could have put an aerial in it, and basically just not knowing that the ribbon cable wasn't attached. So that is extraordinary, really. So very, very disappointed with them. I gave it a go, though. But I've done a bit of research, and I found out how I can actually replace this. I've actually found the component part. I have it here. That is it there. This is a MMCX connection. I got this from RS, is it? RS Components. So I will also put a link down below because these, these actually cost like £1.79, which is not a lot of money, is it? So £1.79. And there's the actual thing itself. That is what's broken. So we're going to open that up. We're going to get in here. Like I said, I've already reconnected this one with some solder. So I'm going to open this up on camera, unsolder it, and we're going to put this one back in place and see if it works. All right, first things first, let's get this air unit open. It's quite simple to actually do. A couple of bolts, one on top, which I think I've actually threaded earlier. So that one will stay in, that one's loose. Two here. If I can actually get the screw in, one and two. So let's keep those safe. There we go. 
two little bolts. And this just opens up. So there we go. So just place that to one side. And this should, if I remember, just come off. If I missed, I've missed a bolt, sorry. I knew there was something. So one more. One more on there. Different size, that's a little stubby. Put that over there. All right. Now when this comes off, there is a ribbon cable on it, which obviously DJI didn't reattach. The idiots. So, there we go. It actually comes from the top. God, I'm having problems myself. That's all done. So, this top comes off. You have to re remember, I'm not a DJI repairman, but it sounds like DJI aren't DJI repairman either because they're useless. So, there, can you see the ribbon cable? I'm going to actually get my GoPro. I've got a GoPro as well, so I'm going to put a bit of GoPro footage on. Right in there. Let's go from the other side as well. You see that? It's just there. Hopefully you can see the cable. What we need to do is just pry that connection off. So there's a connection over this side. We're going to pry that off with a little screwdriver. So there's a connection point here. I hope you can see it. You probably can't. It's right in here and I'm just going to pry it off. You have to be so careful. It just lifts off a little flat-headed screwdriver and that comes off there. So basically this, this is the connection of the ribbon. That connection there is what DJI just didn't bother attaching. They just screwed it down. Brilliant guys, brilliant DJI. Put that to one side. Oh, actually that's the part we need, sorry. Put that to one side. And then we need to take this off as well. So three more little screws. Sorry, camera's not focusing. Three more little screws and it just takes this off as well. These. One. Two. Very careful not to lose them because they're tiny. Last one. Free. So with that off, this should come apart. I probably miss something again. There we go. So it's actually got some, you know, cooling paste or sealing paste, whatever they call it. I don't know what they call it. But here you see where I've actually put the old one back on, and that's what we're going to replace. So I'm going to desolder my original work to get that in place, and we're going to open the new one and slot it in. Okay, so I've just got my soldering gear out. I'm going to use a bit of blue tack, but obviously I'm going to be very careful not to affect this ribbon cable. I want to leave it in place really, because these are quite tricky to get back on. I don't like taking them completely off. So I'm going to just try and blue tack it in place. There we go, that came off nice and easy. Okay, so that's off. That's the old one that I soldered back in place and the reason I'm taking it off again was because obviously the connection point when a bit broke in it when I pried it out um, it just made the connection too loose so I bought another one of these here it is let's open it up and see if we can get it in so here's the new part 
there is a certain way these go in because there's a little groove and the groove goes at the top so this just slots in there that will just rest in there I'm going to get rid of a little bit more solder if I can Okay, there we go. So I've just cleaned up the connections a little bit better. That rests in there. That rests in there absolutely fine. And basically we're just going to put solder all over it and reconnect it. And then I will actually show you some footage make sure it works. If you can see this. And let's put a solder on there. Okay. Let's see how that is. There's quite a bit on there. Yeah. I mean, look, it's a bit lumpy. It's a little bit lumpy, but it's on there. It's connected. It's in place. If you do this fix, your soldering might be a little bit better than mine. So that is it. That's all we're going to do. There we go. So that will be fine. Right, so that's in place. Let's get these little screws back in. So my soldering might have looked a little bit messy, but it fits absolutely fine. So there we go. There's the new connection in place. Blue tack again, never worry about a bit of blue tack. There's the original. Now what we need to do is reconnect this ribbon cable, which is easier than it sounds. So Bear with me and I'll get this in. You basically have to just guide it in. It basically fits perfectly. When that's on top, that ribbon cable is lined up. So you have to pry this open. There it goes, that's in. Ribbon cable on. So it's basically just lining it up and it's sort of the front and then back. I mean, at this point, you've pretty much got nothing to lose, have you? I mean, this I'd never use again anyway, so. And there, 
We have our new connection in place. So that should be nice and super tight. So I've got some connections here. Let's find out. So this is the new one. This is a original DJI. And that went in nicely. Yeah. Be very happy with that. So I guess what we need to do now I need to get get a bit of gear up here and let's see if the actual picture works and I suppose the ultimate test if you want to see it is if it actually flies there really happy with that actually I think that one actually feels a bit better than that one so yeah, I mean I don't normally use these ones, so I normally use just an extension and then put it into the SMAs. So that coming out the side would be great. And that is super tight. Let's get some gear, let's see if the actual picture works nicely. Okay guys, so we're gonna do the test. I've got my drone up here, my goggles, uh, battery. Obviously I've taken the props off my drone to do this because all I'm gonna do is unplug, <clears throat> all I'm gonna do is unplug the actual DJI unit from this one, plug that one in, connect it up, and show you that it works. There you go, so she's plugged in, props off our quad, thank you. Safety first guys, goggles are on, which is the humming you can hear. Power this up. We've got a light on there, connections are in place, check the goggles, and to me it is looking good. Just put that camera the right way up. Yeah, that works beautifully. So I'm actually going to try and stick this on a quad and fly it as well. Hopefully you can see that. Which is working fine. That's my office, there's my goggles. So yeah, happy with that. We've got bars and stuff like that. How many bars we got? We've got all the bars. Picture looks really good. I have a look where I am. This this is where I am. I'm in the attic. That's me, hello. Hi there. Strange bloke you've never seen before from Dat FPV. Nice to meet you all. While I've got you, hit that subscribe, hit that thumbs up, please. It really does help, guys. There, so. That is perfect. Really like that. Great simple fix. So let's just unplug these goggles. Unplug this quad. We all know the air units overheat. So, how much did that cost us? That cost us £1.79, I believe it is. I'll put the prices up for that little component, that MMC connection. £1.79. A little bit of hassle taking it apart. Quick bit of solder. Works fine. Why couldn't DJI do that? Why couldn't they do that? Rather than going and going to charge me 160 pounds, whatever it was, which I'll flash up again, 160 pounds to repair an air unit. Where well, if they're going to charge me 160 pounds, might as well just buy a new bloody air unit, might I? Ridiculous DJI, not impressed at all. But there you go. If you get this problem as well, links are below. £1.79 for one of them, solder it in place, seems to work fine. I will do a flight test with this as well. I may actually stick it in a quad 
and I've got the um, FT5 frame, which I think is empty at the moment. So I may actually just, I may actually do a do a um, distance test because I haven't done one of those before, and I might just nail it and see how far it'll go. Hope you like that, guys. Really good little fix. I mean, this is what I normally use in the back of them. I use some connection extensions and then do the SMAs. So th that little fix for me will be absolutely fine because that will actually be, you know, I'll put that out the side. There we go. Anyway, I'm rabbiting. Hope you enjoyed that fix. Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. See you again. Cheers. Yeah!